double HD Nation stand up. Happy Tuesday and welcome back to the channel. Today we are unboxing this Mystery Hot Wheels eBay box I purchased from eBay. It's about $51 with shipping, so really excited to open this. I've opened one of these before and I will link that video down below and it'll also be at the end card at the end of this video if you want to check that out as well. There are 42 cards in here, so uh, let's go ahead and get this video started. All right, crew, so like I said, from eBay, super excited to open this one. I really loved opening the last one, so uh, let's go ahead and just do a little slice. Go over here, do a little slice. And do another little slicey, slicey, slicey. All right, go ahead and just, all right. <clears throat> Let me see, I cannot remember how they're packaged in here. Are they just stacked up or are they? Okay, so we'll start with the top ones first. Batman, get out of the way. All right, let's go ahead and start with this first. Ooh, here, what do we got here? This is a 32 Ford Vicky. Vicky, Vicky, something, something. I don't know how that song goes. All right, so awesome looking model here. Now, hold on, let me tilt you guys down just a wee bit more. There we go. So yeah, awesome looking car. Of course, you know me, being a Ford guy, you know I'm gonna love it. It's a copyright date. 2000, nice. Cool. Pull out our next one. Oh, wow. As you can see, this one definitely has some uh, color to it. Look at the blister, it's yellow <laughs> compared to that one. <clears throat> So another Ford, awesome, 1990 Ford truck. Definitely got the Drexer body style on there. The Harley Davidson livery, this thing's sweet. What year you come from? 2000 again, nice. Yeah, this thing's sweet. Awesome. All right, pulling out our next one here. Oh, we got a Roger Dodger, nice. Old retro Roger Dodger. Pretty sure that's metal body, metal base. That is so sweet. Maybe that may be plastic base. Yeah, that's definitely plastic base. Nice. I don't know why I really said retro there because they've been around for quite a while. 2000 again. Yeah, Roger Dodger. All right, what do we got next? We have a Camaro Z28. Oh, wow. Don't know if I've ever seen a Hot Wheel like this before. Like, I mean, I know they exist. I just, I, I don't think I've ever had one. Very nice looking. Sweet. Two thousand. Yeah, look at that track system. That's pretty sweet. I mean, look. Nice. All right. What next up we have? A T-Bird Stalker, another Ford, nice. So Ford Thunderbird stock car, basically. Hey, look, chrome, chrome windows. You can kind of see my face, hi. Nice. Oh, there I am again. Sweet, I bet that thing's gonna do well on the track. All right, next up we have, ooh, a Callaway C7. This thing is awesome. Flaming Hot Wheels 2 of 5. When did this come out? 2002. Nice. That thing is sweet. I wonder how good of a track car that is. Oof. Callaway C7. Hmm. I love it. Oh, oh, hey, we got a Butterfinger car. 1970 Chevelle SS with the Butterfinger livery. That thing is nice. Very cool. Nice. 
When did you come out? Oh, two again? Very nice. I dig it. All right, what do we got next? This is a Mercedes C-Class. Kind of high up off the ground. Maybe it'll do all right in the loop. So, so far, the first one should have been from like 2000, 2002. What do we got here? Oh, as you, okay, we got another tail dragger. As you guys know, I did get one of these in the first eBay unboxing, which I'm not going to complain. Nice low and slow cars. If you want to do like a little, have like a little show car night where you want to set up a display, have some nice low riders sitting out. It's definitely a good one to have. All right, what do we got here? Hey, armored car. <laughs> we just opened one of these in a the the k case we got very nice looking truck not k case i mean we did get one in the k case but we also got one in the l case as well sorry i had to think about that for a minute driver carries only hot wheels cars that's awesome so sweet so i wonder how good of a track vehicle this armored truck really is 2000 Probably nothing, probably nothing too special, but still be interesting. What we got here? Flame stopper. <laughs> that thing, it looks, uh, wow. Corrosive crew, stand clear, unit 31, and enter. Emergency toxic, that thing's sweet. So I'm guessing the gimbal moves and everything. So, uh, you know, it's not a good track car. Flame stopper. <laughs> Get another 2000. Nice. I can't really complain with this so far. So let's go ahead and go ahead and sit it up. And then we will tilt you guys up just a smidge. And I'll be right back. We're going to finish the case. All right. So, right off the bat, we will start with this little fella right here. Let's see what's fit in there all nice and tight. Okay. So, we have recycling truck. So, this thing is. Uh, Definitely pretty retro. Look at the card. Definitely got the old school Hot Wheels vibe to it. We can go look at the copyright date. It is 1991, so I guess it's not like super old school, but it's still three years before I was born. So, I don't know. I may, the card's really nice. I may uh, leave it in the card, but I don't know. It'd be kind of fun to get out and play with. That may be good on King of the Hill, that's for sure. But yeah, recycling truck, cool. All right, let's go ahead and start with, oh, we can grab you, nope, we gotta start over here. Oh, we got another go-kart, so we did get one in the last mystery eBay box unboxing, but it wasn't green, so it was purple, I believe. So that's still pretty nice to have, nice to have two of those. And this is from 97, the year my sister was born. So that's nice, okay, two of those. Now what do we have? have another tail dragger, but wow, I love the paint scheme on this one. Wow, that thing is nice. And this is from 97 as well. Very cool. All right, what do we got here? Ooh, it's the first edition of the Super Comp Dragster. That thing is gnarly. So does that... So, oh yeah, so see these will, see this is the wheelie bar, and this will fold up under here to where the wheelie bar sticks out. 1997 as well. I like it. I'm not going to complain. Of course, I'm not going to complain with any of these. These are all sweet to have. Oh sweet, we got another way too fast. I love this car. This car is so radical. And I love the checkered roof on this one. So in one of our monstrosity videos, Way Too Fast did really, really well. Nice. All right, what do we got here? Whoa. Now, gold metal speed. Oh yeah, it has those. <laughs> this thing is awesome. 1993 Camaro. This thing is wicked. So, look at this, copywritten in 1991. Oof. <clears throat> Gold metal speed. Look at those wheels, you guys. 
Now, I have, I always forget the name of these wheels. I, I mean, I've been studying up on my uh, on my uh, Hot Wheels research and learning all the wheel types and everything, but uh, uh, it just slips my mind. Gold medal speed. Wow, I think sweet. I don't know if I want to open that one or not. But then again, I think we're going to eventually. Whoa. Treditor. Treditor. Interesting. I'm pretty sure I have a purple one of these downstairs in my bag. My Hot Wheels bag. I'll have to show you guys my Hot Wheels bag one of these days. Do a showcasing of that. Yeah, that thing. Look at the, look at the little bitty wheels. Treditor. Eh. I mean, it's not going to really do well. 1998. Not really going to do well on anything, but still kind of cool to have. All right. Oh, this used to be one of my favorite Hot Wheels growing up. The mini truck. I always loved all the speakers in the back and everything. This thing's nice. Where did you come from? 1991 as well. Wow. So cool. I actually have a couple variations of these in my Hot Wheels bag. So cool. So cool. So cool. I we got another armored. Oh no, it's a fire truck. New. Guaranteed for life fire squad series. Rear doors open. Uh, it's an ambulance. Very cool looking ambulance. Man, that thing's got some weight to it. When did you come out? You came out in 1995. Okay. Very nice. I like it. What we got here? 1980s Corvette. Is the hood open? No. Definitely a sharp looking model. If you like Corvettes. Okay, 97 as well. Whoa, what do we got here? Uh, look at this, another Ford. We've got a decent amount of Fords in this box and I am pleasantly surprised by that. This is a 1963 Thunderbird. Oof. Dang. That's a good looking car. Very nice. And you came from 1997 as well. Oh look, we got another super comp dragster. I'm pretty sure in the description uh, of the eBay thing, uh, you weren't supposed to get duplicates. I mean, I'm not gonna complain, but uh, no, that's all right. So uh, two super comp dragsters. <laughs> I can uh, I can see a showcase happening now. Ooh, hey, hey, turn around. The '56 Flash Cider. Wow. Nice. Love that. that artwork they they uh, put on it. 1991. Gives off a very Miami vibe. I like it. All right, what do we got next? We have another 1995 Camaro convertible. Kind of like the same one. Actually, this probably is the same one we got in the last case unboxing, which is all right. Never hurts to have duplicates. We have another teed off. We actually got one of these in the last case too. So again, like I said, not bad to have duplicates. You can hang one up on the wall. We got here. Oh, we got Porsche. A Porsche 959. Very cool. I love that slate color they put on it. 1995 year. Look at the tracks. Those are cool. Those are really nice. It's like we have another Porsche as well. This is the Porsche Carrera Extreme Speed Series. Ooh, I cannot wait to get this one out of the box. Where are you? are from 1998. That thing's sweet. All right, what do we got here? We have a clutch stepper. <laughs> oh, Gulch. Gulch. Better learn how to pronounce my words before I just spit them out. Gulch stepper. Interesting. And you are from 1991. Definitely an interesting car. 
Looks like a lemon they jacked up. Then again, kind of looks like an Oldsmobile. Oldsmobile. Yeah, new paint style. Yeah, it's pretty neat. What do we have here? Whoa, this is a Solar Eagle 3. All right. So it's a solar car. 2000. Now it feels a lot heavier, but that's because it has like this plastic, other plastic piece holding it in there. So it makes it feel like it's real heavy, but I bet this thing is really light. Three wheels? Oh boy. Woo! Path beater. Ecolog ecological blah 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 blah. blah, blah. Wow, I had to stop the video to pronounce that. Ecology Center, holy moly. I've not had enough energy drinks today. Wow. Recycle, where are you from? You're from 1991 as well. I love that neon. But if you hold this thing under a black light, it looks sweet. All right. Oh yeah, I got a road rocket again. We did get a road rocket in the last eBay case unboxing, but it was a different variation, I believe. 1998. Yeah, sweet. Sweet. Oh, yes. Yes, we got another one. Yes. I love this car. Oh, no, this is a different one. This is Jet Threat 3.0. This isn't uh, Grease Lightning like I thought it was. Okay. This is completely different. But yet, it's kind of the same. Wow. Wow. So if a Grease Lightning was a monster, this thing's just going to be insane. So Jet Threat 3.0, 2001 First Editions. This thing's awesome. Highway to the danger zone. Oh boy, I started. All right, we got, what do we have here? Ramblin' Wrecker. I love cab overs. Cab overs are sweet. Blisters a little bubbly. It came from 1996. So definitely gonna have fun on King of the Hill with this fella. All right, what do we have here? Street Beast series. You are, oh, we got an older Jaguar XJ220. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. This thing, oh. You guys remember when this thing beat off track? In the King of the Hill? But this is a different one. This is metal body. I don't think the other one is. I'd have to feel it. Maybe. This thing's got some weight to it. Oh man. This thing is gonna be amazing on King of the Hill. From 1996. Yes. Now what do we have here? The Demon. Okay. So now, you Hot Wheels experts out there. There's a red line around those tires. And it says Hot Wheels red line right there. So is this like an actual red line car? Or is this just like a, kind of just like a, yeah. Is this an actual red line? Or, so, right now, until I get some straight answers from the Dell HD Nation, uh, this one's not going to be opened. At all. The years in front, yeah. I mean, they were sponsoring the Highway 35 series, so it's not super old. from 2002. So, uh, in the comments down below, let me know if the Demon is like true red line or not. So sweet, thanks guys. <clears throat> All right, we're down to like a handful left. Scorching Scooter, it's a motorcycle. Watch Petty Race, there we go, got some NASCAR. 1999. Oh, here we go, another Ford. 1933 Ford Roadster, again, watch Petty Race. So this is from probably about 1999 again, yep. I like it. Very nice. Now we have a Chevy Nomad. Very good looking livery. Hotwheels.com. Ah, oh, man, Hotwheels.com in 2000. Oh, man, the internet in 2000. Trash. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? We have a Toyota MR2 Rally. Wow. Midnight Racers 2. Love livery. Very nice. And you are from 
1991. Made in Malaysia. That's a good looking car. All right, down to our final two. And we have another Ford. This is a Ford Thunderbolt. This thing is sweet. Man, I've been happy with the Fords in this one. <laughs> good looking car. Oh, has livery. Of course, I should have known that I had the flame thing there. You are from 2002, 2002, sweet. And lastly, this thing's a beast. We have the Oshkosh Snowplow. Try saying that 10 times real fast. Oshkosh Snowplow, Oshkosh Snowplow, Oshkosh Snowplow, Oshkosh Snowplow. Okay, so I guess it was a little bit easier than I thought it was going to be. <clears throat> Sorry about that. They had the Oshkosh Snowplow, Hanks Holler. Sweet. And you are from the year 2000. Nice. Well, all right there, Double HD Nation. There's our little unboxing of the eBay Mystery Pack. I guess it's... So, uh... Oh, coffee. So, yeah. We had some really cool models in there. Lots of Fords, which, you know, that makes me a happy camper. But, yeah, it's time to wrap up today's video. All right, and there you have it, Double HD Nation. Another video is in the books. This time that mystery eBay unboxing had 42 models, 42 awesome models. I'm super happy to add to my collection. But you guys, like I said, I do need your help. I need your guys' help and let me know if this Dodge Demon is uh, something I should keep in the package or not. So uh, awesome if you guys could help out with that. But if you guys enjoyed today's video, go ahead and smash that like button. That lets me and YouTube know you do enjoy the content and you want to see more of it. This is Hawkeye Holler Diecast, where we review, showcase Hot Wheels cars, Hot Wheels tracks. We hold NASCAR competitions, such as King of the Hill Drag Racing, Race Wars, which is head-to-head -head racing, and the Monstrosities are every weekend. The Monstrosities are fantasy tracks I come up with, film them on Saturday, showcase them on Sunday. So you definitely want to make sure you are subscribed and have that bell rung, because you never want to miss a single update, especially if you're a Hot Wheels fanatic like myself. But with that being said, you guys go ahead and drop your comments down below. Let me know what you thought of today's video. You guys see a model in here you really like. think they're going to do well in some of the competitions we have coming up. So yeah, just fun stuff like that. Go ahead and share these videos because that definitely helps out the channel so much. Because at 1,000 subscribers, we have a Joey Logano 124 scale NASCAR diecast giveaway. As well as a 164 hauler giveaway. So you definitely want to... Get to help me get to a thousand quick so we can get that giveaway going because some lucky person is going to win that free of charge but go ahead and follow my socials all those links are down below we're on facebook twitter and instagram we also have a discord if you want to go join that and chat it up with me and a couple other people over 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 on that platform and lastly i do have a t spring shirt if you guys want to go pick up some hawkeye holler merch that definitely helps the channel out, but you don't, you're not obligated to do so. But with that being said, you guys, I will see you tomorrow for Race Wars. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you next time here at The Holler. Peace.